The BioSB Tinto Stainer Plus Automated Stainer is a walk away, fully automated IHC staining system. Completely automating the entire immunohistochemistry, Mohs immunohistochemistry, immunocytochemistry, or immunofluorescence staining process from deparaffinization to counterstain. Featuring BioSB's patented sweeping cap gap reagent motion for better sensitivity, reproducibility, and more homogeneous signals. Generating high quality and consistent results with minimal reagent use. Offering three independent slide trays with up to 10 slides each for a total capacity of 30 slides. Both the Tinto slide racks and the reagents can be programmed, handled, and added independently, allowing for continuous operation. With barcode identification and real-time thermal monitoring of each slide for precise temperature control. Validated with over 650 IHC and immunofluorescence IVD antibodies currently available with optimized staining procedures based on individual antibody properties. When combined with BioSB's unique and universal monomeric anti-mouse and anti-rabbit FAB micropolymer detection systems, the system allows for better tissue penetration, which along with our patented sweeping cap-gap reagent motion, increases IHC sensitivity and reproducibility when compared to competing automated systems. With full-service professional support provided by BioSB's trained staff of technicians and lab professionals, the BioSB Tinto Stainer Plus Automated Stainer is an accurate and open system with reliable detection suitable for all antibodies with an easy-to-operate user interface offering customizable programming options. The BioSB Tinto Stainer Plus Automated Staining System Operation Procedures the following is a summary of the standard procedure for staining slides with the BioSpeed Tinto Stainer Plus automated staining system. Other workflows can be used by customizing these settings. First, turn on the BioSpeed Tinto Stainer Plus with the power button located on the right hand side. Start the software provided with the system and log in. Perform an initial inspection of the unit by checking the level of the ancillaries and refilling as necessary. and check the levels of both the hazardous waste and the bulk waste containers. In the software, create a new case and begin entering the slide details for each case. Print the slide labels and paste them onto the appropriate slide. As a note, you can leave the slide preparation protocol section blank if dewaxing and antigen retrieval are performed outside of the system. Place the slides on the slide rack and place the Tinto chamber on each slide. Insert the slide rack into the BioSpeed Tinto Stainer Plus. Place the Tinto reagent rack into the reagent station. The stainer will scan and measure the levels of all the reagents. Green lights indicate that the rack has been accepted. Review the reagent station status in the software to ensure that all the reagents have been read. To start the protocol, press the chamber buttons to load the slide racks. After the slides have been scanned, make sure the slide details in the operation status are displayed correctly. Click Start to run the protocol for each Tinto slide rack. The software will give you an estimated finish time and updates during the entire process. Once the system is finished, your slide should now be fully stained. Press the chamber buttons to unload each slide rack. Remove the Tinto slide racks and remove the Tinto chambers by dipping each slide in DI water, as demonstrated here. Continue to process the slides according to your procedure. After operation, remove the reagent racks and keep them refrigerated for later use. Be sure to clean the plastic slide covers for 5 minutes in DI water and then at least an hour in isopropyl alcohol to preserve the life of the slide covers. 
the BioSpeed Tinto Stainer Plus automated staining system. Cleaning and maintenance. Initial warnings. When performing cleaning or maintenance tasks, be sure to turn off the instrument, except when performing probe cleaning or large volume flow controller cleaning. Hazardous waste can accumulate on various components of the instrument. Always wear protective clothing and gloves when using the instrument and its components, including handling or filling reagent bottles. If you notice any spilled solution, immediately remove it according to the standard laboratory specifications. The slide tray chamber may get hot during operation. Do not touch the slide tray chamber or its surrounding area within 20 minutes after the instrument has stopped working to avoid severe burns, as the unit may still be hot. All components should be cleaned by hand. To avoid instrument damage, do not use an automatic dishwasher to clean any components. Be sure not to use any strong solvents or corrosive cleaning fluids or any rough fabrics to clean the parts. When using the instrument, be aware of leaks, wear, or damage. There are instructions in the user manual for repairing or replacing worn or faulty parts. Otherwise, please contact technical support. The BioSB Tinto Stainer Plus Daily and Weekly Maintenance Before every use, check the bulk waste container to be sure it is less than half full. Be sure the ancillary bottles are at least half full and fill them as necessary. Every week, use 70% alcohol to clean the following components. Slide racks, the metal heat plates with special attention giving to the spaces in between. Wipe and clean the probe. Check the cleaning and mixing stations and clean or replace if necessary. Check and clean the ancillary bottles and the space underneath. Remove and dispense the contents of the bulk waste container. Be sure to run probe cleaning once a week. Load the three component probe cleaning kit into the reagent station After the reagents have been scanned, start the probe cleaning under the Instrument Maintenance section of the software. When using the Tinto Stainer Plus, be aware of degradation of the Tinto chambers. Keep an eye out for persistent stains or spider cracks in the plastic Tinto chambers and replace as necessary. To improve the lifespan of the Tinto chambers, soak them in bleach every 10 uses. If further maintenance is needed, or if you have any other questions, please contact technical support. For more information about the BioSB Tinto Stainer Plus automated system, please visit our website at www.biosb.com. BioSB, bioscience for the world.